They are currently at $7.84 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate that in the next 12 months they can move up to $15.21 a share. Now, if they in fact move up there, that would be a 94% increase on your money in 12 months. Hey guys, um, thought I was done for the day, but another one popped on the 52 week low that I feel is a good opportunity. Now, this stock or this company is gambling.com group limited. I like to break the stocks on my watch list down into tiers. Three stars is the most fundamentally sound. Two star is beneath that and one star is the least fundamentally sound, but still sound enough to be on the watch list. This company is a one star. They have an earnings report coming out on August 15th or later that week. And they are currently at $7.84 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate that in the next 12 months they can move up to $15.21 a share. Now, if they in fact move up there, that would be a 94% increase on your money in 12 months. So having looked at the candlestick chart, now let's go over and do the analysis on this stock. Once again, the stock we're looking at is gambling.com group limited. And the ticker symbol is GAMB. Now, I have the earnings per share for all five previous years on this company, but I don't have the price data. I just have the price data for 22 and 23. So, first, let's start with the earnings per share. In 2019, this company was negative seven cents a share. But in 2020, they was 49 cents a share. In 2021, 37 cents a share. They dropped some. 2022, they were six cents a share, so they dramatically dropped. But they jumped back up in 23. In 23, they were 47 cents a share. And so far in 2024, they're projected to be at 47 cents a share as well. This could drop a little bit, it could move up, it could stay the same. But so far, they're projected at 47 cents a share. Now, if we look at the price data, we only have two years. In 2022, their low price was $6.72 a share. Their high price was $12.50 a share. That was an increase of 86.01 or 86.01 percent in um, in those 12 months. 2023, their low price was $8.74, high price $14.68. That was an increase of 67.96 over the course of that year. And right now, they're at the low price of $7.84 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they're going to move up to $15.21 a share. 
if that in fact happens and the earnings per share stays consistent, that will be an increase of 94.01% this year. Now, if we look at their current PE, their low PE in 2022 was a staggering 112. In 2023, it came back, more back down to earth, 18.60. Well, now it's beneath that, 16.68. So we may be catching it at the point where it's ready to move back up. Now, this stock has a 4.40% free cash flow yields. And we're going to jump down and take a look at the income statement. In 2019, this company made 19,266,000 in sales and revenue. Of that, they ended up losing 1901000 So they lost the money that year. But in 2020, they made 27980000 They made more money. They retained 15151000 That was an amazing 54.15% profit margin that year. In 2021, they made 42,323,000. Of that, they retained 12,453,000 after paying expenses. That was a 29.42% profit margin that year. But in 2022, they made even more, 76,507,000. Notice their sales and revenue is increasing every year. But of that, they only retained 2,390,000. That was a 3.12% gain. And in 2023, they made 108 million. 652,000. Of that, they retained 18,260,000. That was a 16.81% profit margin. Now, if we go down to their return on equity, doesn't look great. It sort of jumps all over the place. In 2019, it was negative 14.70. 2020, it was 44.29%. That's a really good return on equity. But 2021, it was 15.58%. Decent, but nowhere near the 44. Then in 2022, it was 2.74%. In 2023, back to decent, 15.35%. And as we look at this stock and look at the debt to equity, the first year was 171.70. That was 2019. So under 200, still acceptable. But the next few years were amazing. 32.65% in 2020, 13.91% in 2021, 59.43% in 2022, and 30.23% in 2023. Now notice, this isn't money coming in. This is debt. 
So we love to see low debt. And based on how healthy the debt to equity was, we see the same thing with the balance sheet. Extremely healthy balance sheet. Current assets exceeding current liabilities. Total assets exceeding total liabilities. This company did not pay a dividend for uh, since 2019 to 2023. We see no dividend paid. In 2019, they sold more shares of stock. We know that as an investor, we hate to see companies selling more shares of stock and we love to see them buying back more shares well in 2019 they sold 6,979,000 more shares in 2020 they sold 3,350,000 more shares in 2021 they sold 39,060,000 Worth uh, more shares worth of shares, but in 2022, they bought back 348,000 worth, and in 2023, they bought back 2,466,000 worth. We're gonna skip the current and long term debt because we covered that with the balance sheet but will come to cash flow. In 2019, they had 3,809,000 for cash flow. 2020, they had 10,848,000 in free cash flow. 2021, they had 13,692,000 in free cash flow. 2022, they had 18,425,000 in free cash flow. And 2023, they had 17,459,000 in free cash flow. Now, one of the purposes we like to look at free cash flow is because the dividend is paid from the free cash flow. So if a company is giving a dividend, we like to see if they have enough to um enough free cash flow to pay their dividend or are they getting the money from somewhere else to get the dividend, maybe a loan, just to be able to attract people to their stock that we don't want. Well in this case it doesn't matter because they don't give a dividend. Now, gambling.com, they have a book value of $3.19. That's a 2.46 PB ratio. Um, if you've seen my videos before, you know I'm not too keen on book value. And I have a video on the channel, The Truth About Book Value, that explains why. Beta, 0 0.93. Beta is how volatile the stock is. The general market moves at a beta of about 1. So if your stock is under 1 in beta, it's less volatile in the market. If it's more than 1, it's more volatile in the market. This company currently is slightly less volatile in the market. Now, there are 37.22 million outstanding shares of this company and an amazing 46.06% is owned by insiders, which is those who work in or are involved in, with the company. That's a huge number. 
you usually see insiders at about 1% or less. This company, 46.06%, is owned by those in the company. And large banks and institutions own 41.56%. Now, Mr. Charles Hansen Gillespie, born 1983, so probably about 40 or 40 something, is the co founder. CEO and director. So he's one of the founders when people started the company. Gambling.com Group Limited is in the gambling industry consumer cyclical center sector. So that's our analysis for gambling.com guys. I look forward to speaking to you in the next video. Have a great night.